an awakened heart. What is an awakened heart? I'd say it is a heart that receives and is enriched by beauty and the wonders of life. It is one that has gratitude for the gifts others have bequeathed to us, is alive to their preciousness. Everywhere they go, a person with an awakened heart gives happiness to others. That's just their nature. We've all known people like this. Like the sail on a ship, an awakened heart is inspired by works of meaningful purpose going on in our world today. To have an awakened heart means to have right values and a moral compass in daily life independent of authority and tradition. An awakened heart is everywhere sensitive to other lives and naturally acts to fulfill the needs and wishes of others without needing to be told what to do. An awakened heart is expansive. By its nature it reaches out more and more until all are included to nurture, to comfort, to uplift. When the heart is awake, there is a radical and uncompromising solidarity with the poor of every kind with all who are struggling, and there is the willingness to do whatever needs to be done to ease the way for them. For these reasons, it is a heart full of joy every day. In any place and at any time, a person with such a heart has great inner strength, courage, confidence, and resourcefulness. It is always this way. People who are awake in this way are beyond any one tradition. On some level, they are universalists, equally at home with all traditions. Strange to say, isn't it? But it's true. You find people like this everywhere and every time. They may not be many, relatively, but they exist and are so needed, especially now, for understanding and for our common sake. Sometimes people appeal to our reason and survival instinct when talking about interdependence and the need for us to look out for each other. They say it's only enlightened self-interest for us to do so, but this is way too much stick and not nearly enough carrot for my taste. If you ask me, we've got it backwards if we're still trying to convince the so small thinking mind. There's another way to go about this that looks to accomplish the same end and is more inviting to think on. The simple fact of the matter is that a life that is aware of and responsive to both the beauty and the needs of others in this world is a life of far greater fulfillment. Who wouldn't want the best for themselves? Let it be so, then.